wrestling fans, FM True followers, and members of the YWC. Brian Crazy here with FM Brand of Wrestling and Entertainment here on YouTube.com. Back with my TNA Impact Wrestling review from November 24, 2011. Happy Thanksgiving, belated Thanksgiving to everybody out there who celebrates it. So let's jump right into the show. We see a recap promo just showing, you know, the whole situation what's led up to tonight between Storm, Brood, and Angle. So we see Angle start off the show. Rude comes out, excuse me, Storm comes out, and it looks like Angle and Storm are about to mix it up. This is when Angle calls out his troops. Out comes Bully Ray, Jeff Jarrett, and Daniels. It looks like Daniels has now aligned himself with Immortal, at least temporarily, in his fight against AJ Styles in Fortune. Storm hits Angle real quick after these guys gets in the ring and leaves the ring. Out comes Anderson, AJ, and RVD. And there's just a huge brawl and some security breaks up. We find out there's going to be a huge elimination tag match later in the night. And all these men are participants. So then we go into a backstage segment. We see Rudy Charles, former TNA senior referee, has returned. I don't know if it's for one night only or if his return is permanent. Unfortunately, I don't have this, that information at this time. He's with Eric Young. And they're talking about, you know, the loser of the match tonight, the turkey showdown, who's going to wear the turkey suit. So then we go into a recap of last week's Tag Team Championship match where we saw Matt Morgan and Crimson victoriously defeated Mexican America. First time these guys have ever tagged together, and it was just poetry in motion. I mean, beautiful work by these two guys. The two biggest guys in TNA just took it to Mexican America. So this week we had a rematch for the Tag Team Championship. Mexican America was defeated once again by the blueprint Matt Morgan and the undefeated Crimson. Then we go into a knockouts promo. This is Karen Jarrett comes out with her entourage, Madison Rain, Gail Kim, and Tracy Brooks, her assistant, who is very reluctantly her assistant. And, um, you know, they're talking. Then comes out Velvet Sky, Tara, and Tess Mocker. And they're just all exchanging words. So Karen Jarrett ends up making a Thanksgiving Thong Thunder match for later in the night. It's going to be a big three-on-three -three match. We're going to see Madison, Love, and Winter go against Tara, Brooke, and Velvet. So all the ladies come out, and believe it or not, not a single one of them sport a thong. Just thought I would point that out. Not a big deal, you know, but the beautiful women, you know, they're beautiful whatever they're wearing. I, I got to admit, TNA definitely has some of the finest women going in the wrestling uh, world today. And we see a uh, great match. Mickey ends up coming down, getting involved. She snaps Madison Rain's neck. Velvet picks up the win with a double under hook. Kind of a double underhook slam. Kind of not really like a pedigree, but similar, guys. Similar. If you didn't see the show, uh, probably that would be the best way to describe it to you. Then Jeff Jarrett comes out and cuts a promo. But he comes out to the ring to Jeff Hardy's music. He's wearing the mask that Jeff Hardy debuted at Turning Point. He's got one of his sweaters on. You know, he's doing some of his mannerisms. But you can tell there's a uh, guy out in the crowd, and he's just looking. And you can hear him mouth into his butt. That's not Jeff Hardy. I mean, that's not Jeff Hardy. Excuse me. And uh, he cuts a promo, talks about Hardy, talks about his issues with Hardy. This is when Hardy comes out. And after Hardy comes out, these guys are fighting. And then all the participants that were in the ring earlier in the big match later in the night come out. And there's just another huge brawl. Jeff Jarrett ends up throwing Jeff Hardy really hard into the ring stairs. It's a question if Jeff Hardy will even be able to compete in the match later in the night. Then um, we go into Eric Young versus Robbie E. Robbie E. actually picks up the win at first. He uses a foreign object. Rudy Charles reverses this decision. Eric Young ends up picking up the win with a huge pile driver. Robbie E is out cold. Robbie T ends up being forced to wear the turkey suit. If he did not, Robbie E would have had to relinquish the television championship. Then we go into the main event, Team Storm, which consists of Anderson, AJ, Hardy, and RVD. Goes against the team of Bully Ray, Daniels, Jarrett, and Rude. That's Team Angle. Team Storm defeated Team Angle in an incredible main event. What an episode of Impact, where wrestling matters. It was a great show. I sure did enjoy it. I want your thoughts below. Please drop your comments. And on a side note, yes, Jeff Hardy did pin Jeff Jarrett once again. Thanks for checking out this episode for the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com. My name is Brian Crazy, and I'll catch you later.